because DSP Gaming is no longer in a managed partnership, a ton of playthroughs, a ton, are either are getting claimed or muted or are completely blocked on YouTube. Let me give you an update because this is interesting. The games, the games that are primarily being affected by this, there's a few of them. Number one, anything Nintendo. Any game that has a licensed soundtrack. So we're talking primarily most of the sandbox style games. The Grand Theft Autos, the Saints Rows, Watch Dogs, and yes, Scarface. And it sucks because it would be one thing if these videos were simply just being claimed that I wasn't making money on them. But many of these videos are actually being blocked or completely muted. Which sucks. It would be one thing if I'm playing the game and people can at least see it. And I'm not making money on it. In another case, it's another case entirely if I'm playing the game and no one can even see the videos. Or the videos are completely muted. That's ridiculous. You may not realize this, but even when you archive something on Twitch, if it has copyrighted music on it, guess what? It eventually gets muted. And this is actually something I was told uh, when I started streaming full-time here on Twitch about a week ago. People were like, don't expect Twitch to be really any different from YouTube eventually. <laughs> that uh, it is going to happen here. Even if you archive stuff on Twitch, eventually it's going to get claimed by whatever company. So, even though right now the Zelda stuff here is live on Twitch, even that could end up getting claimed and muted. Um, and the same thing with any game that I play on here. So, it just seems to me that any game with these licensed soundtracks is pretty much a no-go until I get into uh, another managed style partnership on YouTube. Alright? Now, a third one, and this one I wasn't expecting, and I'm kind of pissed off about this one, okay? Is WWE Games. I'm not exaggerating here. Pretty much all of my WWE playthroughs are getting claimed. WWE just fucking claims it, thinking that they own anything WWE related, even though they don't own the rights to the fucking video game. They don't. Um, they claim it anyway. <laughs> so right now, I just got a message, someone was like, oh man, I was gonna watch your WWE 2K17 playthrough and part one's claimed. And it's blocked. It's not that it's not, it, it's it's muted or, you know, there's no ad, there's ads on it that are WWE, it's blocked. You can't even watch it. That's bullshit. That is complete and utter bullshit. Seriously. I completely disagree with that. Uh, moving forward, I don't think I can play WWE games anymore. Uh, that sucks. But anyway, what I wanted to say, what I was getting towards here, is right now, okay, I know some people ask me, Phil, what's the best way to support you right now? Should I sub? Should I cheer? Should I tip you? Should I use Patreon? What should I do? Um, right now, the preferred method, and I'm being real with everyone here, and I'm going to tell you why in a moment. Um, the preferred method, if you wanted to, to help me out, is here on live on stream to tip me. Okay, if you could send a tip or to pledge to my Patreon. Those are the two ways that you can help me the best right now. And here's why. I'm going to be very frank with everyone. Because if you tip me or if you pledge to my Patreon, I get that quickly. If you tip me, I actually get that right away. Okay, and if you pledge to my Patreon, I'm going to get that in early April. The reason <clears throat> that I need it is because right now... Financially, I'm pretty screwed. I'm not going to lie. Um... In December, well, in January and February, uh, is when the ad revenue on YouTube completely dipped and screwed me over. And right now, financially, I'm in a bind. Like, I'm wondering how I'm going to pay my bills for the next two months. Now, the good news is... Those of you who have been coming out and participating in the streams and cheering and everything, you're helping me out tremendously. Please, either tip me or pledge to my Patreon. Because I'll get those funds quickly. And the bottom line is, I need your support quickly. Because for the next two months... Things are going to be incredibly tight. Um, without going into too much detail, yesterday, some bad stuff happened. And I was like, oh shit. Um, <laughs> and financially, it's going to be bad for a couple months here. <clears throat> but the good news is, <clears throat> as I've said, um, because of the amount of cheers and subs and everything that I'm getting here on Twitch now, uh, it looks like in two months' time, because that's the thing, it's a two-month stagger for YouTube and for Twitch, that in two months' time, in May, things are probably going to be much better. But we have to get to May, and I have to pay my bills for two more months before we hit May. Um, by the way, speaking of which, my Patreon, I have a goal set up now for March, I know. For the past couple of weeks, I was like, man, I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't know if I'm going to still be able to do this as a job. So I was being kind of negative about it. But I think at this point, I'm feeling confident enough that I will be able to continue doing this. As a job? And so, uh, yes, I do have a Patreon goal for the month of March. And you might say, well, what is that goal, Phil? Well, that goal is that if we do hit the funding level for this month, I'm going to be doing a Twitch and Chill stream, okay? And the Twitch and Chill stream is going to be exclusive participation for patrons. If you pledge $5 or more by the end of this month, so you've got right now, it's the 15th, so you actually have exactly 
what, two weeks left? Actually, there's, there's 31 days in March. You have 16 days left, a little over two weeks. If you pledge by the end of the month, $5 or more, you are going to get in on this upcoming Twitch and Chill patron event. 